I started my night out with a gin and tonic to cool myself down after coming home after doing the laundry. Next, I had a 17 year old Isla Mist blended Scotch whiskey, which doesn't hide the fact that it is made up of Lafroig blended with some grain whiskey. And it is 17 years old. I didn't think so much of it when I first tried it, but it grew on me. As I went along and nosed and tasted it, it got better and better. Even on the short time that I, you know, 18 or 19 minute video. Then I was totally surprised and uh, pleasantly surprised by um, Oaken Puccin from a uh, uh, local distillery, Macaloni's Caledonian Distillery. It's the nearest distillery to where I live. And a beautiful fruity caramel toffee honey papaya apricot freaking wonder. That was great. Now last week you may recall or was it the week before? I had a first chapter Glengiri Renaissance, 15 years old. This week I have the 16 year old second chapter. The box looks like this. The second chapter in a four part story 16 years old here it is from what I gather this was bottled in 2013 and uh, there it is the 16 the second chapter and I'm gonna compare it to the first chapter and see if there's any appreciable difference I was able to obtain the first, second, and third chapters of the four-part story, but I couldn't find, I couldn't get the fourth chapter. Maybe someday I will have an opportunity to try it, but I don't know where I can get it. Oh, that's a loose cork, too. What is it with loose corks today? How about the one? See, that one isn't so bad. This is tighter but this is the loose loose cork whoa loose corks today there we go this is bottled at 51.4 percent and the other one was bottled at 51.9%. So it's close. I'm going to pour the first chapter as well. Might as well do it. Do it up. Okay. Pretty much identical in color. Let's go for the second chapter. Mm. I think it's a little bit shy and wants to open up. Wants to give me the full benefit of everything that's in it. It's malty. 
It's gingery. I'm getting some vanilla underneath the ginger. And malt. Malt and ginger and honey. What does the year younger smell like? Oh, the year younger has a chocolate note to it, like a Tootsie Roll and honey also. But this has been open for a week. So it's going to be more open than the second chapter. I'm also getting honey and ginger here, but it's in chocolate. Mm. fudge chocolate fudge and that's on the 15 year old and honey thick sweet honey 16 year old not quite as fantastic yet this one's closed compared to the 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 fifteen year old. Oh milk chocolate honey. Orange. Yeah, I got orange out of this one, like blood orange. I got that out of this last week. The 16-year-old seems in comparison to be a little bit closed up. It may be interesting next week in comparison. I get an orange. The ginger note is fading. What have I got on the palette? Mm. Whoa. What I did not get on the nose, I got on the palate. Oh, ginger and orange, blood orange. Whoa, that went up my nose from inside. Wow, right into my sinuses. The next sip is going to be a small one. OK. 
Okay, ginger and orange. That's mostly it. It's going to open up. Ginger, ginger, orange, some cloves, a couple other spices, allspice, ginger, cloves, um, quite spicy. Try that again. Oh, that is good. Spicy. Cloves, ginger, honey. Underneath that, it's a bit malty. A lot of orange. Um, I'm getting a little bit of vanilla under that, but it's really... Let's have a a pull from the fifteen year old. Wow, that is nice. So far, I'm preferring the 15-year-old to the 16-year-old Glengarry Renaissance, but we got to give the Chapter 2 a chance to open up, which it hasn't quite had yet. You can tell the whiskeys are related, and they're both really great. I'm getting a hug now, going down my throat. If I add a wee bit of water, since this one was bottled at 51.4 or something like that, maybe a bit of water will do something to it. Let's see. I forgot to do the leg thing. Uh, sheeting action, leaving trails of droplets going down. Interesting. What did I pay for this uh, Glengarry Chapter 2 Renaissance? $119.99. So, six, don't Plus, that was the goods and services tax, $12 <clears throat> liquor tax, 10 cent bottle deposit, plus 119.99, one, 138.09 out the door. And I believe that the 15-year-old was about the same, if not identical. Yeah. It's a fair chunk of money to spend, but it is a 16-year-old whiskey.
What else does it say about this? Glen Geary Highlands of the Malt Scotch Whiskey. Second chapter in a four part story. Showcasing Glen Geary, deliciously different house style following its reawakening in 1997. The second chapter in a four part story reveals the spirit's character at 16 years old, rich and tangy with a dessert like sweetness. Okay. Tasting notes. Layers of tangy orange zest. Okay, we got that. Warm oak spices. And honeycomb intermingled with toffee and cream. Okay, lime and ginger. Honeycomb with vanilla ice cream and tangy orange marmalade. Okay, I got some vanilla in there. Lead to a spiced apple tart. Roasted almond and nectarine finish. Yeah, I guess so. Somebody's a real poet there. It's complex. It's got all of those things going for it. I'm not going to argue with their take on it. But yeah, it's all of those things. Now that I've added some water, I get more of that ice cream, tangy orange, delightful. Glen Geary, I'm a fan. I'm so I can't help it. I'm a fan of Glen Geary. Stuff is wonderful. Mm. Well, slanch of a food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>